also like to talk about um, some of the factors, again, that contributed to the success in Kurdistan, um, specifically some of the organizational factors. Um, it seems that the success in Kurdistan was possible because of collaboration among several organizations, um, and that most, if not all, organizations that are active, uh, political organizations that are active in Kurdistan participated in, the uh, in supporting the strike. Um, now, a number of the organizations are categorized as, as revolutionary, some are categorized as nationalists, um, and some may seem to be on the left side, but sometimes exhibit um, uh, right tendencies. Um, nevertheless, there was collaboration, it, it seems that there was collaboration around this action on May 15th, and if that collaboration is part of what made the success of the strikes possible, um, is there going to be a move towards continued collaboration amongst the re revolutionary communist um, parties? Um, do you have plans to continue cooperation or collaboration in a substantive fashion? Yeah, I, it was a factor, of course, but not a very decisive factor. Let's just explain what happened. The first thing what happened is that the uh, 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 communist group, meaning Komala, which is the part of the uh, uh, Communist Party of Iran, mm -hmm. they called for a strike. Mm -hmm. And then our party and many other groups supported that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was not as some sort of uh, uh, cooperation in a way that we get prepared to get, we come together okay. and we had a, a, a call with the signature of all organizations. It, was, it didn't happen like this. Okay. And it is very difficult and I mean by my experience, I think that that sort of thing uh, is not that easy to do. I mean, when you want to declare something with, uh, with the signature of different organizations uh, uh, on it, uh, then for every statement, every sentence, and every word, you you have a discussion. Mm -hmm. And that sort yeah. of thing makes it very difficult. So the thing that happened in case of Kurdistan, every party and every group ha has its own uh, its own statement mm -hmm. and its, its own call. Okay. Calling for a strike in the same day, of course, mm -hmm. with the same reason, but each group and each party with their own wording and in, in frame of their own policies. That the thing will actually happen. Okay. That's one thing. The other thing is that in that strike, as I told you before, the role of the uh, left and communist group was was basic, was decisive. It was at the center of the whole action. Mm -hmm. And the other, in the other parties, other groups, as you said, reformists, you can tell them, or nationalists, and all other parties, they just uh, uh, answered and they just react to that call from communist groups. Okay. And and this way they cooperated. But actually, the thing that happened was the uh, initiative and the, first, the the call was by the communist groups in Kurdistan. And I think that was the main reason of the success. As I told you, those nationalists, uh, I mean, when you look at their policies, they are actually. Uh, more, uh, uh, much closer to the Musavi, Karabi, and Green movement, mm -hmm. uh, comp uh, comparing to their relation with the left and communists and revolutionaries in Kurdistan and all over Iran. Okay. So if only those groups uh, uh, called, they wouldn't be successful, I think. Okay. The main thing is that those revolutionaries, that they represented the uh, anger of people, uh, and the protests of people against the whole system, yeah. they could be successful. And that was the main reason that thing happened. Of course, as I said, the, 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 the fact that almost all the opposition groups supported the strike helped, help. but the main reason was uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, uh, that fact that leftist group and communists uh, take the initiative and, and put forward the first step. Okay. Um, and um, going forward into the future, do you feel that there's a need for a need for continued collaboration amongst um, the revolutionary communist uh, groups to strengthen the national move uh, a national movement? I think, yeah, I think everything depends on on, on, whole, uh, on what issue and what occasion. Okay. As I said, the place and the time. 
mm-hmm. like a situation. Those are very decisive. Mm-hmm. But even uh, if everything is uh, uh, prepared and everything is ready for taking that sort of action, okay. again, I think the same method that happened in Kurdistan, we should do there. Uh, I don't think that uh, even those groups that they call them communists and revolutionists can come together and have a, 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 a united call for some mm-hmm. sort of action because I know that they have the different they have different tactics, different interpretations of what's happening in Iran. For example, we have communists that they don't call it revolution. They think it, the whole thing is a reactionary movement is directed and. And, uh, and it is under the control of Musavi hmm. or a faction of the regime, hmm. which is totally 180 degrees opposite of what our party mm-hmm. uh, uh, interprets those events in Iran. Of course, those two groups, both of us, we call ourselves the communists. Mm-hmm. It's not very likely that we can have a common tactic on any occasion. Okay. And Kurdistan was different, as I said, because that sort of thing happened. But still, in, in a national seen that sort of thing might happen, but again, if it happens, the, the, the same method that happened in Kurdistan, we should follow that. Okay. I mean, some groups should put, should start the thing, mm-hmm. call for some sort of action, then the other groups, the other parties, if they agree, they should uh, uh, support that with their own policies and with their own explanation of, of the action. I think okay. that's the, that's a, this way, we have a better chance to have some sort of cooperation in the future. Uh-huh.